In this video, we will be looking at TBC580 Extract Point Feature Enhancements. We will be looking at the Extracting Point Features and New Manual Extraction Enhancements added in TBC580. Let's now have a look at the Extract Point Feature command in TBC and show you the enhancement made to it. I have a dataset already uploaded and as you can see, it has been classified as well. In the 3D view, if we zoom in, there we go. It does help and make it easier for you to use these commands when you have a classified point cloud. So please do classify your point clouds. First of all, I'm just going to upload uh, the standard feature code library as we can map the features using that. So we'll just go to feature code processing and you can just select the default feature code library you get when installing TBC. Once that has been imported, we can now go to our point feature extraction. Under point clouds deliverables, you will find the extract point feature command. Click on it. It will open up the extract point feature window. Data extraction window. As you can see, we now have a few options under here. Tree, post, sign, manual and manual photogrammetry and manual laser so let's go with the post for a light post you have settings so you can either extract using maximum diameter found excluding the bottom the diameter at the elevation of where you actually click in the post or at the bottom of the post so let's go with diameter at the bottom let's switch off the point lots we're not going to use regions for now so we'll switch off that high vegetation and power lines there we go now that we've done that let's zoom into one of our light posts there we go pick a point on the post so we'll click it where we want it just zoom up, up at one correct there we go there that's it always make sure you click on the post or switch off the ground that will help as well now we can just click on extract post. And there we go. It has extracted our post for us. If we want to add it to our points, we can now select uh, one that we want to do. So we can go into utilities electricity if you want to. And then let's add a feature code for it as well. Uh, I'll be for light post. Here we go, light pole, add the code, and there you can see this is the attributes that will be assigned to it. Click on OK, and there we have it. Now we need to make sure it maps it correctly, so you can click on Map Attributes, and now you can tell it which attribute goes to where. So post diameter, it will be the diameter. For the post height, we will use the height. For inclination, we will use that one pole inclination and for pole inclination direction it will use the inclination direction and save it and there you go it has now mapped it and will store this as the attributes for your point in TBC when you're happy with that click on add and you'll see we have now added a point at the bottom as well as a symbol and your light post has been extracted if we look at the properties then for point one right click properties there you have it and as you can see the feta attributes has been added as well for the height the diameter the inclination and the inclination direction if a photo was taken in the field that could also be linked into your attributes okay that done all good that's easy to do when there's not a lot of those around let's have a look at doing an extraction that's automatic and let's click on the high vegetation here we go we have quite a bit of trees around here so let's see what happens when we run an automatic extraction for trees what i will first of all do is i'll just quickly only select this bit of our point card let's just keep that that's in make it easier so as you can see we just have a few trees over here for this example i will then go back to my extract point feature command 
Now I will select the tree. Again, settings. You have two options here, diameter at the elevation of the click position, manual mode only, and then the diameter at a fixed elevation above ground. So TBC sets it at 1.4. You can change it to one meter, uh, half meter, depending on where you want the thickness of the diameter or where the diameter needs to be measured from the ground. I'll leave it at, let's make it one meter for this example and say, okay. Instead of now manually clicking on the trees, let's use the automatic please make sure that the point cloud is visible that you would like to use for extracting the features from when you have that all in place let's click on extract tree and it will run through the point cloud and find the trees there we go as you can see it has selected those three trees you see the little green path showing you just where it will go again now you can basically click on the arrows and that will run through each individual tree so you can inspect it, see what it looks like and see if you're happy. If you want to see it in isolation, the little selection box over here will give you a nice little view of just the tree and the surroundings around it. Now you can obviously play around with it to make sure you only view the necessary information if you want to see less of the information or point cloud around the tree same with the path if you want to switch it off simple as that it removes the path that you want to do at the bottom here you have ignore normal or mark this is where you go through each of the individual trees decide if you want them added you can ignore them if you don't want it added normal leave it as is mark is a way just to say you want to check it afterwards to ensure that it is correct so we'll jump through the few trees that we have and just see what it looks like. That one is fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. And then over here, there's something that's not quite 100% correct. That's just a little shrub down there. So I will say ignore and it won't create a point for us. If you wanted to shift it around a little bit, again, the coordinates are down here. You can just select the coordinates and click on a new spot if let's say the tree was a little bit off and the trunk was over there you can click there and it will shift that extraction to that specific point and the elevation as well if you want to click on the bottom you can change that as well by simply highlighting it and then clicking in the point cloud once you're happy with that we will add these points to our landscape and then the feature code again let's go look for that it will be um, bt for broadleaf tree add that code and again we have attributes assigned to the specific feature code okay again same as with the light post let's map the attributes so first of all the tree spread would be spread would link up with that Trunk diameter will be trunk and the tree height will be height. Save that and that is how it will map all the trees for you as soon as you add them. Once we are happy with that, starting point will be 0.2. We can even change that to 100 just for the exercise. The layer where it will be and then when you're happy with that, you can add those points. As you can see, it will only add three because we ignored this one. Yes, and there we go. Our trees have been added to our project. You close it again. Let's look at the properties for the first point. And there we go. Feature code, point ID. And at the bottom, you will see we have that attributes that have been added. And obviously, you can change the tree type. Uh, to what the attributes are in your feature code library that in summary is the new enhancements to the point feature extraction that you will find in tbc 580